In this lesson, we're going to expand your knowledge of infinitive forms. You already know the present infinite, uh, the active infinitives. Uh, now we're going to expand it to the middle and passives. What you'll notice is that there's a lot of uh, carryover. So let's take a look. Let's do them uh, first by tense. So the present tense of sozo to save. Sodzain, active. Sodzestai, so there's your middle infinitive ending. And it's going to be the same as the passive. Remember, the middle and passive in the present tense are identical. So, so zes thai, so zes thai. In the future, these endings again are the same as the present. So same, we've just got a different stem. So zes thai, there's our same ending as we had for the middle. But in the passive, remember the passive is formed of the sixth principal part. We take the future passive stem, so we're going to take our Six principal part plus the sigma and then s thai, so a base s thai. The strong aorist, very similar in endings, la bain. Notice the accent of the circumflex over the final syllable. La best thai, same ending there, s thai for the middle. Uh, notice there's no augment. Remember, infinitives we don't augment. And then le thai. Here's our new ending for today. Uh, another new ending. So our aorist stem, no augment, six principal part aorist stem, and then nai is the infinitive ending with the er uh, circumflex over the eta. In our weak aorist, we've got a couple of new uh, infinitive endings. So psi, here is our new uh, aorist active infinitive ending, no epsilon augment, aorist stem, i. So sas thai, oh, notice that, that we still have this as thai here but the alpha instead of the epsilon. Alpha because we're in the weak errors. And then so thani in the errors passive. There's our ni ending, just like we had in the strong errors. Eta with the circumflex. No augment again. So with infinitives in the middle, they're all going to have that sthi. In most of the actives, we're going to have that aim. And the errors passives, we have this new ending, nigh. And remember, aorist, no augment. So practice forming these with a couple of verbs, uh, and you should have no problem identifying them. When you use them, uh, you're primarily going to see the future, remember, after verbs like opizo, to hope, and mello, to be about to. Uh, but you also see all of these tenses in indirect discourse. So remember that indirect speech, the accusative plus the infinitive, um, will give you uh, uh, that indirect speech construction. And so there we can use the aorist, the future, and the present to express tense to some extent.